Jay Feather X20E here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan again. We sold this RV to its one and only original owner right here a few years ago. Well, several now. They got a lot of use out of it. And uh, they finally just decided, I think we're done with the hybrid concept. And they went to a Murphy bed, fully enclosed, hard-sided couples camper. Since uh, the sun is pretty much, uh, you know, doing sports and not camping as much pretty soon in the near future here. So, uh, 3,745 pounds, easy to tow. I mean, if you got the right tow package on an SUV, you're in business. You always want good load level uh, hitching with pretty much anything. This is on a, uh, um, a different style frame, a bow frame, and it's like an aircraft style huck bolted chassis. It's very light and very strong. And that goes right along with the rest of the trailer. This is fully uh, laminated uh, with a uh, full aluminum frame, aluminum wheels there, a little blowout guard wheel wells. We've got an outside utility shower. Everything you need, nothing you don't. Um, way before it was just the J Feather, there was a J Feather Sport think of like a Chevy LS than the uh, J Feather Select, the LT. This was a member of the Sport Series, so this was just well-built family camping. These folks have uh, spent some time all over the Midwest with this thing, and I can't really think of any time it's really been in for any serious service work. I mean, it's they went on the road, they used it a lot, and it performed, and that's what J Feathers have always been made for. They're trailers for people that go, people that do. Your uh, bed ends are in excellent condition. I don't see any snags or anything like that. The skin on this thing still has an amazing sheen and, and luster to it. So you know that it's been washed and maintained properly on the exterior. The tires look good, no dry rotting or anything there. Windows are UV tinted. That's gonna give us privacy as well as keep the RV cooler inside. And on a hot day like this with all the sunshine, it is noticeably cool in here, about 10 degrees or something to that nature. I don't have a thermometer on me, so that's just one of those estimates. Um, let me uh, pan around here. So we've got a totally carpetless interior. You know, it's very easy to clean. You saw the slide on the outside. That's the sofa over here, and that's what's given us this nice big living space. The X20E is effectively just a little smaller version of the really popular J Feather X23B. Um, we've got basically the same living space. We just scrunched down the back side of it that we haven't seen yet a little bit. All of our cabinet doors are self-strutted and uh, self-supporting. Uh, everything's screwed together, not stapled. Everything's gonna last. That's, I mean, built, buddy. That thing is built, B-I-L-T. Um, the uh, front U-Dinette here. This was actually one of the things that attracted the original owners to it. I know because I was one of the people that was involved in this. And um, originally they looked at us and said, we just, we like everything about the camper, except we don't want to have to climb over the dinette to get to that front bed. That's just a deal breaker. And then me being the product knowledge nerd that I've always been, this didn't just happen overnight. I said, guys, you don't realize this bench pulls right out of the way and you've got your own nice little walkthrough space here. Plus it's good storage. And, oh my gosh, that's exactly what, that was the missing piece of the puzzle. And that was it. That was the decision-making factor for them. They didn't have to climb over anything to get to the bed. Just easier. Now, hidden behind these front cushions here, there is like a faux headboard. So if you do use the front dinette as a sleeping space, um, the uh, you, you've got room for like extra little knickknacks and things up here. I guess you could always use it for storage, even if you don't use it for sleeping. So obviously, you know, you can either sit on that, you can use it like an ottoman, you can kick it over here, do whatever you want with it. It's a cool little feature. It's something I wish they'd kind of get back to. Jayco sort of quit doing that because most of their dealers didn't know it was there. I guess most people don't have a Josh on their staff. I'm Josh the RV nerd, by the way. Welcome, welcome to Halet RV. Um, you can throw a TV up here. Previous owners saw this as a camper, not an RV, so they never put a TV in it. And um, this is a gas electric fridge, five cubic foot, uh, one door, all inclusive. Though we do have a little place here for some ice cream treats. I don't know, maybe you're the type of folks who like to throw a bottle of Jägermeister up there. I'm not judging. Do whatever you want. It's your camper. Um, now, here's the thing that this has that virtually no hybrids have. And that's good storage in a, in a hybrid camper. Hybrids are not known for storage. And this double floor-to-ceiling pantry or linen cabinet over here is just chock full of storage with more under the sink and stove. And I love what they did here. I tell people this all the time, like, well, can we get one of those folding covers on the stove? Save money, make it easier, and have a free-floating hardwood cover here that you can move around and use like a serving tray. Take it inside, take it outside. And on the little rubber grommets that they have there, it's not, it's not falling anywhere. It's not going anywhere. 
Uh, rear bed's a little more private. A lot of moms and dads will claim the rear bed as their own. And a pretty rank and file bathroom, but I mean, really, what more do you need out of this space beyond utilitarian? It does its job, it does it well. You get in, you get out, you're done. Oh, obviously the table, the folding leg table, you can use here for your dinette, and that's your base when you're sleeping on it. But you can take it outside like a picnic table, you can put it over here, you can use it like an island kitchen, do anything you want with it. That's what's really cool about this floor plan. It works for a lot of different people. It's even a good couples camping floor plan. And on a rainy day, if you got a bunch of kids and you're stuck in here, the extra space from that slide out is just a godsend. So give us a call, learn more. We do hitching pieces, parts, financing, anything and everything in between. We only do everything here at Haylet RV. So give us the opportunity. We'll shake your hand. We'll make business happen. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.